Hello guys and welcome to yet another episode of an Illustrize Game Dev Tycoon. Episode 9. Now, last episode we pretty much laid off a whole team. That's actually what we did and we got a bunch of new talent. That might seem like a rough one, but when I am supremely the Nils, I gotta take some rough decisions. And if you follow up my Frostpunk series as well, you know I'm, I'm not afraid to uh, to act ki kind of pretty merc mercilessness. M merc not merciful mercilessness what what's the opposite of that i don't even know regardless this is kind of gonna be a big episode i think we're gonna get to do a uh our big game engine we're gonna explore some uh some of the opportunity that comes with the internet i think we're gonna make quite successful games first of all nintendo released an into 10 ninvento gs the nintendo ds so uh it Compromise it something something we'll see i'm researching something here i'm not quite sure what it is but if i want to include that in my engine we'll need to do that all right we have a lab report so let's read that after careful examination we came to the conclusion that the internet is a huge opportunity in the gaming industry we already see some small signs how successful multiplayer games can be but multiplayer is usually an additional feature to a game and not the main focus we think we could develop technologies to create massive multiplayer online games, short MMO, a game where tens of thousands of players can play together. To create such an MMO, more research is necessary. The second discovery is that we could start developing an online distribution platform. Instead of players buying games in local stores, they could download games directly from our servers. This would cut out the middleman and would gain a large share of the market and additional income to fund our developments. So we can start Codename Grid, MMO, AA game. So MMO, massive multiplayer online games. We know how much fun it is to, uh, to play multiplayer games, but imagine that instead of playing with a handful of players, you could play with thousands. This project will unlock a brand new genre to allow us to create MMO games. And then we got Codename Grid. Kind of looks like Steam. A bold plan to develop an internet-based distribution platform for games rather than buying games through relative... Uh, retailers, players worldwide can simply download them. The platform features digital rights management to combat piracy and also enables a new market for small developers to show off their products. I think we're gonna go with Codename Grid right now. Sony also comes up with the portable PlayStation. Okay, PPS. Uh, all right, uh, it doesn't utilize an innovative dual screen to be able, we'll just use a single screen that will focus on giving developers access to much more powerful hardware. All right, let's do more training until this guy starts research or stops researching whatever he is. Successful, yay! All right, they're still new to the team. Obviously, GG well paid plus. It's doing quite good. Oh, decrypt message. This is a very special offer. Oh, agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. If you're interested, then transfer 58k to an enclosed uplink location. We'll contact you again. Agent Blowfish. We're gonna transfer the money. Thank you for your business. You have successfully researched mad science. Okay. Oh! One million. Oh, Nintendo got released. Hell yeah. Alright, what did you research? Orchestral soundtrack. I'm happy we waited. Alright, create custom engine. You can have 2D graphics, V5 and V4. Advanced stereoscopics. We're gonna have. Base physics, save to cloud. We're gonna have achievements and skill trees in gameplay. We're going to have dynamic environment in the level design. We're gonna have orchestral soundtracks as well as a soundtrack. Damn, we're, we're going big, man. All right, so the last one was, was called Tooth Pluck. Now I'm gonna take two random things again. Well, I have a cup of tea right here. So, and I have a pen from Staybridge and it's brown. It's gonna be called, it's, it's Staybridge Sweets. So it's gonna be tea sweets and what tea flavor? That's forest fruit. So it's, uh, that's a sick name. It's just called forest fruit, forest fruit. That's, a, that's actually not a bad engine name, forest fruit, boss up. That sounds that's like Apple, but better. 
but for an engine. Maybe it's not good for an engine. But then again, there was something called blackberry, so we were just all of that. We blackberry, strawberry, blueberry, berry in general. We like berries. 3D graphics before, linear story, advancing story, simple cutscenes, advanced cutscenes, we get full motion video. I'm not gonna pump up, you can pump this all the way up to 3 million, but I actually won't do that right now. It's just uh, a little too expensive right now. Okay, so now comes a kind of interesting point in the game where we can actually train people. So what you want to do is you want to press train, and then we can get another design specialist or a technology specialist. So, per se, this guy, we can give him a boost. You definitely want to get boosts if you can do that. Let's try and see who can get a boost here. Well, he can get a boost. What boost does is basically like your your play characters are just going to go crazy and you kind of want to give them boosts before you start researching stuff with them. And they need to be level 5 to get the boost. Uh, so we're just waiting and I, I can't get the boost because I'm stupid. So I'm going to use some... I'm going to take some design classes while my team makes the, the game engine, you know, that's how it goes. I'm just sitting here. It's actually kind of stupid why my cam is persistent because you guys can't see the, the progress of... Uh... There we go. And then I'll go like... I'll, I'll, I'll be a, a bit tinier so you guys can actually see the R&D right down here. So basically this has been here the whole time. It kind of ticks up. That's a big mistake that I did not think about that. So I'll, I'll try and pay attention. Tutorial. Boost a powerful tool that allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff. They're most effective when time strategically during the development of a game or during training. Boost needs to recharge before you can use them. You can activate a boost as soon as the recharge proc is complete, but you can also wait a little longer to further increase the effectiveness of the boosts. That's pretty much how you do it. And also you gotta have like 500 of one skill to actually get it. Uh, so we wanna give them boosts and realistically want to do a boost max level but that kind of requires a lot so like this guy wait can't he get boost max level is he already boost max level it could be boost max level i don't know i don't know all right finish up our game engine here and we're gonna start oh, what did gg well played mate 16 million in sales that's impressive for quite a few fans now okay so we're gonna develop a new game it's gonna be large. It's gonna be an adventure game. It's going to be a mad science adventure game. That sounds crazy. Perhaps we'll do like a hmm mythology adventure. Have we done that before? Yeah, it's not the best. Well, obviously we're doing adventure, so uh, abstract adventure, crime adventure. Dystopian adventure, disaster adventure. That shouldn't be bad. Vocabulary adventure, colonization adventure, wild west, zombie adventure, post-apocalyptic adventure, movie adventure, life. Ad I'm trying to get something good here. Dungeon, cyberpunk adventure. Would that be good? Space adventure. Hmm. Let's do a. A mad science adventure game and we'll do it for the uh, the place uh, let's let's make it a let's make it a for the for the Nintendo and we'll make it a medium game use forest fruit just because I have no clue how what my mad science does so I'm, I don't want to invest everything a mad science game Oh, uh, uh, I don't want to do it, but I, 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 I really don't want to do it. Hmm, what could we call a mad science game? Probably call it like... The Watch. The Watch. The, the... And then we call it like, The Watch. Doctor, Doctor Watch. Doctor Watch. Doctor Watch. What? Doctor Watches. Nielsen. No. Doctor Watch. I like that. That's a good name right there. Doctor Watch. It's, of course, it's going to be for everyone. It's going to use the newest 3D graphics. Bam. We're working on it. That's hype. 
Okay, a lot on story and quest, less on gameplay, not really an engine. So, so obviously we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a safe game. We're gonna have some uh, mod support. Actually, we'll 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 have like video playback. Maybe we'll have uh, base physics. You kind of need that in that game. Gameplay wise, you can uh, get achievements. There's no character progression, but we'll give you tutorials and a better user experience. There's going to be full motion video, advanced cutscenes, and a linear story. That seems reasonable. There's a lot of hype already. It's gonna be a sick game. Maybe it's gonna be horrible and I just don't know it yet and I'm gonna be very disappointed. I hope not because we're kind of running out of money. Artificial intelligence, not so much focus on that. We'll have simple body language. Actually, we... Yeah, I think body language is good for this. We'll have mini games. We have some easter eggs. We don't need a dynamic environment. I think we just need better AI. Maybe AI companions would have been kind of fun to play around with as well. Everyone is on the supposed supposedly places where they need to be. This right here is a geeky corner. We got the design wheels over here. We only have one girl on the team. It's kind of bad. We'll do a, we'll do a, a, a small campaign for the game. We don't need to hype it up too much. Just a just a just a small campaign. Focus a bit on world design. Slightly less on sound. Really need graphics to be somewhat decent. We don't need a. Uh, we just need stereo sound. Can we get surround sound? Yeah, we just need stereo sound. That's fine. Can we get a rich backstory as well? Yeah. I mean, I don't think we need to, to make it an open world. Yeah, this seems reasonable. Dream vast is no longer supported. Damn. So realistically, I could use my boost right now, but I think I'm gonna save it. So I'm running out of money. We're spending 800 a month here. This has to be a decent game. However, I think it's actually going to be quite good. The game link will be taken off the market. And that the game link, the Game Boy, is obviously... You know what? I'm going all in that this is going to be a good game. We're going to spend 1.5 million on a large booth. The game link is obviously the direct the con competition to the Nintendo. So that's actually really good for us that we're releasing for the Nintendo. I really want to release this game kind of fast. Hope there's no box. Please sort the box. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're down to 600k now. This game really has to sell. We're just straight up gonna have to go into a new game. Let's make an action game. Actually, we just made an action game. Oh my god, we just got so many new researchers. Alright, straight away. New game. Let's do a... Let's do a sequel. Sequel's always good. We've done an adventure, simulation, casual, action, strategy, RPG. I mean, we could do overhead kicks too, because that was quite... I like that. Overhead kicks. And what, what's, what? It's called Mystic Rush. I think that, that's actually a sick game name. Mystic Rush. That's a sick game name. Don't come here and tell me I'm bad with names, because Mystic Rush, that's a sick name. It's going to be for everyone, of course. We'll use the nearest. We're actually going to kind of budge a bit here. We're going to use the nearest 2D graphics. Revolutionary 2D graphics. Bam! There we go. We are minus 1.3 million. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, uh, hopefully, our bank is gonna. If, if your balance account is below 2 million, we go bankrupt. Oh, we came top 16 at E3. Doctor Watch really has to be good, otherwise, I'm screwed. Okay, 8 is gonna be fine. That's gonna save me from going bankrupt, hopefully. Yeah, so we're only in week two and you sell every week and we got an average of eight. So we should be able to make not enough to not get bankrupt. Ooh, it's gonna be on the edge. Oh, there's gonna be development cost as well for this one. Holy hell, this is gonna be close. All right, story and quest. We're gonna have a branching story. We're gonna have advanced cutscenes, a lot of stuff. For the engine, we'll do, uh, we'll do multiplayer. We'll do a video playback and save game. Actually, you don't need to save. Okay, you kind of need to save your game. <laughs> we'll do a skill trees actually for gameplay, and uh, we'll have uh, achievements as well. I don't think we need character progression. I think skill trees is more important, so we'll we'll focus on that. It really needs to. Okay, so it made 2.6. The Game Boy is no longer supported. Released four games, creating value for 14.4 million. That's quite a lot. Oh my God. Okay, what's up, Jorg Longer from Game Nova? Uh, we, we we focus more on the graphics when it comes to RPG here. I think that's the play. So 
So this game, Doctor Watch, is obviously doing quite good. So that's really, really lucky for us, because I think we would have kind of screwed if that wasn't the case. He just found five bucks. That's bad work. <laughs> Alright, Dialogues will have a voiceover. We won't, we... Ah. Uh, okay, we, we don't need a dialogue tree. Dynamic environment, hell yeah. AI companions, we don't need that. We just need a good, a decent AI, right? Colby can do the, uh, that's fine, with Peter and that, and with Jack Long doing the tech thing, that is perfectly fine. Okay, I think we actually get to do some, so I can pop my boosters right here now, and you can see, hopefully they're gonna create a lot more points right now. Bam! They're just creating a lot of points, and we're getting a bunch of design points, especially. No, they all want to go on vacation, but really gotta get this game out. Alright, hopefully we can sort this out before everyone gets too tired. A lot of world design. A graphics needs a slight bump. We'll have a surround sound. We can't really get an orchestral soundtrack. Uh, we'll have an open world though. Uh, Alright, so Jack Long is going to be on uh, on sound. We're going to have uh, Jeffrey on, on the graphics. And we'll have... Uh, wait, how does... Kathy on that, Jack Long on that, and then Jeffrey can focus on the uh, world design. I think that works out somewhat good. Oh, look, I have more design points now because you actually trained me. Hell yeah. All right, codename grid, slowly progressing. I'm gonna really up the funding of my R&D lab here if we get the, I probably should have done a marketing campaign, but oh well. Sold 1 million copies of Dr. Watch, that's not too bad. Finishing up the game, everyone's obviously getting kind of tired, so... Let's just finish it off, ship the game, and then uh, see what's, what's cooking up here. I think we might do a little uh, training session or something. So just sorting out the box now, making sure the game isn't too buggy. I'm gonna start sending people on uh, vacation now, in a sec. Finish the game, there's one buck. Uh, that's fine. Okay, now we gotta be fast with sending him on vacation. Send on just. Oh, oh, okay. New record, good management. Oh, we get a bunch of stuff here. Two D. Oh, everyone's getting level five now, so we can actually get boosts on everyone. They're getting races. We got special training, online play, corroborative play, advanced body. No loading screens, dude. We need that. I definitely want that. Okay, so. Mystic Rush, game review. This gotta be sick. It's a 10. It's a 10. Mystic Rush. No, fuck you, Inform Gamer. <laughs> Come on, man. Ah, nine and a half. All right, that's 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 decent. That's reasonable. We will uh, we will train ourselves a bit here. We'll we'll do some uh, technology training. Give ourselves a programming course. We can also up the funding now to two million. I think is reasonable for Codename Grid actually, because we just made nine million in a week what's up that's us we do well here oh a friend of mine is greatly involved in an organization which aims to get more women into technology of oh, women uh they are looking for sponsor and i thought okay yeah sure we'll pay 40k to support women in technology that's fine get a boost on this bad boy oh we're just making fat money sold 1 million copies in the first two weeks what's up Get boost on everyone, kinda, that's how you wanna do it right now. Generate a game report here, and then when they have boosts, we can start training them, which won't be right now, because we will we'll want them to have uh, their boosts kinda finished, so we can do that during the training. So we'll create a game, and then we'll, we'll boost them a bit. I can't get a boost before I get one of my stats to 300, so I'm just gonna keep training myself until I get there, one day. <laughs> All right, now we gotta research before we create a new, new game. We'll have a no loading screens, and we'll do a cooperative play. 3D graphics v5, I guess is more important, actually. Uh, Mad Science is a great combination. Mad Science and Adventure was great. Okay, that's awesome. We got news that the Ginger Army's really sponsored a highly praised move to get more women into technology. Nils Nilsson, the CEO of the Ginger Army said, we would love to see more women in, game, in the game industry. Hell yeah. All right, so this is, I'm just gonna see, show you guys how they can train. So right here, right, we have Colby. Now Colby has shitty speed, so we're gonna give him some speed training. We don't need technology, because he's a nerd when it comes to game design. So we're gonna pop a booster, and hopefully, yeah, there we go. 
you can see how it's just BAM boosting through the training just like we wanted him to there we go that's perfect but yeah multi-platform that's a really important research however we'll look into that in a bit for now I think I'm gonna cut this episode here that was episode 9 I do hope that you guys enjoyed episode 9 of Nils tries in the next episode we're gonna explore multi-platform create a few more games hopefully bangers codename grid will be done which means we'll, we'll have our own gaming store it's gonna be hype so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have any comments or something, leave it down below. Because what I do is I record three episodes in a row. And this is the third episode of the day. And then I, I look through all the comments and stuff and see what I can improve until the next one. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, everyone. Peace out. Oh,